It is a dog. That's what I want to get. So we had a pretty cool afternoon's fishing here yesterday. Um, so we've come back down to the walk to have a bit of a look. Hopefully the kingfish that were there yesterday turn back up today. And uh, hopefully we can catch a few more fish. It's a cool spot, should be a good session. Lost a little fish there straight away, that's pretty cool. Gotta love a wharf session. Beautiful place to have a bit of a wharf session. So just got full sinker, little bit of uh, a little poly ball there for a bit of colour, and a BKK. I think that's like a seven baro, a little bit smaller than I usually use, but it's working well. Got a bit of mullet for bait. So the plan is pretty straightforward. I just want to catch myself one fish for dinner, and if one of the local kingfish turns up, I'm going to jump in with my spear gun and have a crack. so funny that I just said that too, eh? I was just saying once I see the first kingy I'm gonna go and chuck my suit on and then this dog rolls into town. Oh, I hope this, it's not gonna show on the camera very good, but look at the size of that fish, bro. Oh, that is a dog. That's what I wanna get. Oh, he's just playing with me. Oh, crazy, big fish. I've free dived around quite a few wharfs in New Zealand over the years and I find it's often a great way to pick up a kingfish or John Dory and occasionally get a handful of free tackle. I saw two large kingfish well over the metre mark just before I put my gear on and jumped in. I'm spending a little bit of time on the bottom, hoping that one of them will come back and present a nice shot. Unfortunately today the kingfish did not come back and after an hour in the water the only fish I'd seen was the local parori population. I was just about planning to call the fish and chip shop to organise some dinner when whabam, I noticed my rod buckled over. After what can only be described as a very slow day's fishing, I'm pretty stoked to be hooked up to this fat kahawai. And after a short battle, I managed to drag the beast up onto the wharf, which is a great relief because it means I've got something for dinner and I don't have to make that dreaded phone call to the local fish and chip shop. Kahawai are a delicious and very underrated table fish and I've got plans to put a little bit of smoke around. Um, no. Ha <laughs> ha! Thank you for watching this hyper-realistic day's fishing and it's a bit of a reminder that things don't always go to plan. But regardless... Gotta be in there. Gotta be in there. Gotta be in it to win it. In it, bro. In there like swimwear. How's it? Yeah, can I please get a scoop of chips and uh, two hot dogs and... Uh